leads to improper behavior and raucous public spectacles. The residents of Millfields will be most pleased. They will find it money well spent, and I find it money well received. Let us move on to other matters, Your Majesty. You have a busy day in the throne room ahead. Samuel, the head of the Brightwall Academy, is ready to plead his case. I sincerely hope he isn't after a handout, though I'm sure Master Reaver will be the voice of reason, as always. At your command. At your service, my queen. Hey there, your majesty. At your command. That'll be exciting. Good to see you. Her Majesty, the Queen of Albion. Oh, the drama, the expectation. Today, you decide on the status of the Brightwall Academy, Your Majesty. Samuel will speak for the town and its scholars. Reva will dispute his cause. You may speak. <clears throat> Your Majesty. It was your father who opened the doors to Albion's greatest seat of learning. Under his rule, knowledge and culture flourished, and so did the people of Brightwall. I ask only that you return to the wisdom of those days. Your brother closed the academy down, but it is in your hands to restore it. There is no greater proponent of the arts than myself. I celebrate knowledge in all its forms, but our people are frightened and confused. The last thing they need is knowledge. Allow them the benefit of ignorance. Let only those who are truly prepared make use of the academy. The elite of our society will pay handsomely to indulge in erudition. Uh, but, but, but only the rich will be able to afford to learn. Precisely. Why give wisdom away when one can charge for it? What do you wish to do, Your Majesty? The Bright Wall Academy will be reopened as promised. But we will charge admission fees. The Bright Wall Academy shall be reopened to those who can afford its services. If that is how it must be, very well. But I am deeply disappointed you have broken your promise. Very good. I will make arrangements at once. Stimulate your intellect in the newly reopened Brightwall Academy. Suckle the knowledge from the land's greatest minds and avail yourself of the best library ever assembled. The reasonable enrollment fees are within reach of almost 1% of the population. So don't delay Brightwall Academy. As long as you earn, it's the place to learn. The court summons Page and Reva. The matter before you today is the future of Bower Lake. Reva will offer his proposal. Page will stand against him. You may speak. Your Majesty, a recent survey of Bower Lake has found that the waterbed is rich in valuable metal. Now, as amusing as it would be to make workers hold their breath as they mine these resources, I fear it would be impractical. Instead, we have no choice but to dam the river and drain the lake of all water. Once that is done, we will have a ready-made quarry ripe for the plucking. It will be a pity to disfigure the landscape so close to my former home but it is a sensible course of action in light of our current needs. Bower Lake is the last piece of natural beauty remaining in Bowerstone. It belongs to our history and should be protected. Don't take it away from us. You'll be taking away part of this city's soul with it. Oh, really? 
Now that we've finally freed the people of this city, are we going to destroy the one place they can find peace? The decision is yours to make, Your Majesty. Do we really need... We need the resources in Bower Lake. It will become a quarry. The Queen has ruled. Bower Lake shall be drained and mined for resources. I applaud your enterprising spirit. The lake shall be drained at once. I hope you know what you're doing, Majesty. Behold the ugliness of nature, so miserly in its gifts, its very lakeness, an affront to all good sense. Now see it transformed into an exquisite monument to human ingenuity, soil and rock offering up life and hope to thousands. How can one fail to be moved by such generosity? Reaver Industries proudly presents the Bower Pits. I trust the court was not too dull today. In any case, I'm confident your final task will be most enjoyable. A loyal and wealthy member of our community has offered to make a sizable donation to our treasury. Her only request is that you go to Millfields to make the collection in person. A perfect chance to stretch your legs, Your Majesty. This girl's rich! Stop her! Lost. But those woods are simply too dangerous. It would be suicide to enter them without combat experience, or training, or skill. I don't want to enter them. I want you to. Right. I was talking about me. Oh, just forget it. Ah, oh, Your Majesty, it's such an honor to have you here. If only fate hadn't conspired to make me look like a fool. Beware the woods, Your Majesty. The soldiers may be superstitious, but there's no denying dangerous beasts lurk within. Good luck. I know you will succeed. Looking for the statue, Your Majesty? Follow the White Palvary. Thank <laughs> you. 